Nearly 10 years after its original release, I finally picked up Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I've been wanting to play this game for years now. I've heard so many great things about it. I finally picked it up on Mercari. I got a great deal on it. So since it's a used copy that I purchased, I'm going to explore the save file on this game. Also guys, I just want to quickly mention that I'm doing a giveaway for a $10 eShop gift card for the Switch. All you have to do to enter to win is comment down below, subscribe, and like the video, and that's pretty much it. Once I hit 9,000 subs, I will announce the winner. All right, let's go. Nothing like the typical Pokemon startup. All right, so here we go. Here's the previous owner, Lizabeth, or Lizabeth, no, Lizbeth, Lizbeth for sure. She has eight badges, 52 hours on this game, and 161 Pokemon in the Pokédex. Of course, after I explore this save file, I'm gonna erase it and I'm gonna play on my own save file and restart the game because I've never played this game. Well, I've played, you know, like the originals, but I haven't played the remake yet, so. All right, I just turned off my light up above so you can see the screen just a little bit better. All right, so it looks like we're in Evergrande City. Let's see. First, I'm just gonna check out the Pokédex. She's caught 55 and seen 161, all right. Okay, you know what? I don't really care that much. I'm just going to go to the PC. We're going to check out what Pokemon she has in the PC. I feel like that's way more interesting. Actually, before I do that, let me check out what her team is looking like. Oh, dang. Okay, so this person has named every single Pokemon. That's that's really cool. It's kind of sad that I'm going to erase this, but maybe, maybe I could save some. So we got Melon right there. We got Crybaby, Siren, Bandit, Venus, and 63. I don't know why that's named, you know, 63. I mean, pretty solid team, pretty solid levels, all about level 50-ish, one level 43, but... Okay, so, I don't know, like, how, like, what any of these do, because I, I haven't played the game, of course, so, like, I'm just gonna keep pressing things. The Dex Nav, okay. What is this? Alright, I guess I could literally just go anywhere, it doesn't really matter where I go. Let's see, let's try to find somewhere cool to go. Alright, I guess we'll go here, Fortree City. There are three Pokemon. This person has three Pokemon. She wants to transfer all of her Pokemon off of the game, which is actually pretty smart, but I don't know why she left her current team and, like, her save file. Like, she didn't erase the save file. So we got uh, a Linoon, whatever, nothing good. Got an Eevee, you know, nothing crazy. Level 48, though, I mean, hey. And a level 56 Ditto, that's pretty good. That's always exciting. Let me, let me just double check, though. I'm pretty sure she literally has... She, she just has three. That's that's it. Just three Pokemon. That was uh, anticlimactic. That was... Yeah. All right. Well, well, shoot. I thought there would be a whole bunch of Pokemon in the box, or in the PC, I mean. Oh, well. Hey, that's fine, I guess. Honestly, it's going to make me not feel as bad when I have my own save file. I mean, I guess I'll just explore a little bit for a second. I don't really want to spoil too much for myself when I actually do play the game, but I uh, I don't think I'll really spoil anything, you know what I'm saying? I just kind of want to see how the graphics are. I haven't played this game ever. I've seen, I've seen content of it, but I've mainly just heard how great this game is. I've heard, and that they added good features that don't actually ruin, like, the actual games, like, the, not the remakes, you know, Gen 3. So I'm excited to see how this game is, and I'm pretty sure you could, like, fly on your Pokemon. Like, you could literally fly around the map. I'm pretty sure. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. I might be wrong. But I swear I have seen some gameplay of that. Dang, look at that tall grass. That's, like, some legitimate tall grass right there. But I'm curious to see if you guys have played this game, and if you have, well, what do you rate it out of, like, just 10 or whatever? Just give me your opinions on the game. I'm definitely going to start tonight. We'll see how many hours I put into the game. I definitely want to make a few videos about this game, though. I want to make a video about uh, wonder trading. Like, can you still wonder trade in this game in 2023? People seem to love those videos, and I enjoy making those videos. And then I want to make a video explaining, like, why I got this game in 2023. Because there are other reasons other than the factor that, like, I just have never played this game, and I really have always wanted to. Or that i just been too, you know, lazy to pick it up. Or I just wanted to find out at a thrift shop or whatever. Because that would be great to find it at a thrift shop. But, like, you know, it's impossible to find Pokemon games out in the thrift shop today. Not impossible. Don't get me wrong. It's not impossible. You can still do it. But it's really hard. And, uh, you know, I came across it for a good deal. I got it for $29 on Mercari. Which is, a, like, you know, like $10 under what it's actually valued at. I think they usually sell for, like, $35 to $40. -ish. So, I got it for a great deal. Free shipping. It arrived, you know, in a few days, and really excited to play it. So, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, make sure to stay tuned for future content. Bye.